marinating the lamb first. Chilies, we're going to use a mixture of red and green. Take off the tops and just slice in. Garlic, crushed. Don't worry about chopping these ultra fine, just get it in there. Cooking for up to three hours, everything sort of blends and almost sort of purees itself together. Smoked paprika, goes brilliantly well with the chilies. Two teaspoons in. A touch of dried oregano. Some little cumin seeds. The blend and the fragrance that they give out is extraordinary. They release a little oil as well and helps to tenderize the lamb. A touch of salt, pepper, cinnamon. That sort of sweetens up the lamb. Olive oil, just a tablespoon. And the olive oil helps to sort of stick all those wonderful spices to the lamb. Jump in, just start really rubbing. At this stage, you can leave the lamb to marinate for anything from half an hour to overnight, allowing the spices to really penetrate the meat, giving amazing results when you tuck in. Delicious. Vegetables, carrots and onions. And that's it. Sliced. Secret of slicing vegetables for braising is not getting too thin. You slice the onions too thin, they burn. You've got that horrible char taste on that slow braise. Braising is just a chef's term that means cooking in liquid on a low heat, making the meat incredibly moist and beautifully tender. So the secret of braising is having a really nice, thick, durable pan. Get that nice and hot. Just a touch of olive oil. Lamb in, hold the bone, because you're in control then, into the pan. I want that white fat to start rendering, so it'll add more fat, therefore making it a lot more flavoursome as it braises. Chilies, cinnamon in, mix that up. And don't be scared, you're not burning this, you're sort of searing the lamb shanks, and this is the important part right at the very beginning. We're getting the colour on the lamb, which washes off as it braises in the oven, so be generous with that colour. Vegetables in. Wow. And then a couple of bay leaves. So now you lift the lamb up and get the lamb sat on top of the vegetables. Now, deglaze the pan with red wine. Deglazing means that you're, you're cleaning the bottom of the pan and you're getting that amazing flavour washed off and lifted up into that sauce. It can really transform that dish. Always deglaze. Then bring to the boil and cook for about 10 minutes to reduce. The wine's reduced down by half. Now for the stock. Bring that stock back up to the ball and then into the oven. Now, don't cover it. When you cover it, all the condensation comes off the lid. Your lamb becomes grey. All this effort and that exciting spice gets washed away. No lid and into the oven for three hours. A slow cook on a low heat of 160 degrees gives the spices time to work and transform the meat so it's mouth-wateringly tender. Now, look at those out on to a plate. You can just see that meat sliding down. Juicy and incredibly tender. Grab it by the, the shank, roll them around that rich, delicious sauce. Look at that. You can get your sauce nice. Beautiful. Just get some mint. Don't chop it. Just pick that fresh mint and let it snow. And there you go, a very spicy, Delicious, melting in the mouth, lamb shank. Amazing. Now, the secret to whisking is a big, beautiful balloon whisk. The bigger the balloon, see that meat sliding down. Juicy and incredibly tender.